Good morning, Eastsiders. Um, actually recording this ahead of time. Um, I have a guest in regional chamber meeting today. And then Teresa and I are going to the U.S.-Canada Sunday School Ministries Conference this afternoon. Uh, thank you for your prayers and support. Uh, we'll keep in touch as we can, and we'll be back Thursday. Today we're going to talk about an argument. If you look at Exodus chapter 3, you'll see that God tells Moses exactly what to do. God tells Moses what Pharaoh is going to do. God tells Moses how it's going to work out. That's so awesome. But then if you look at Exodus chapter 4, Moses argues with the Lord for, four, for a whole chapter. In fact, it gets so bad that in verse 14, the Lord says, it says, Then the Lord's anger burned against Moses, and he said, What about your brother, Aaron the Levite? I know he can speak well. Moses complains and argues and changes God's mind a little. That thing God has put in your heart. That thing God has called you to do. That dream God has given you. That person God has told you you're partially responsible for that habit you haven't gotten rid of, that addiction that takes away from you and your family and your ministry. Those are things that God has spoken. And you're sitting there arguing, I don't feel like it. I can't do without it. I need it. I don't want to. I don't like them. Are you an Exodus chapter 3 follower of God? Listening for what God says and doing it? Are you an Exodus chapter 4 follower of God, hearing what God says and not listening, or arguing, or defending, or justifying? May God hear your chapter 3 answer of obedience and faith today.